What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we have this chest rig holsters from Crossbreed Holsters. We are going to talk about the features of this holsters, the pros and cons to carrying in a chest rig, what I think of it overall, and of course, we're going to roll in some of that saucy, saucy range footage that you guys love. Uh, so I have done two reviews on Crossbreed Holsters already. This is their belly band. I actually reviewed about a dozen different belly bands, and this by far was my favorite. I use it often when I exercise and run, even though I hate to run. Uh, the second one I did was the Crossbreed uh, Reckoning holster. I ended up liking this so much I made it my EDC holster. I carry this most days. Uh, I carry my SIG P365X and when I do it is in this Crossbreed holster and you can kind of tell it's, it's got some good wear and tear and some good love over the past few months. So before I started this reviews I knew very little about Crossbreed. I always carried it in an all Kydex holster but I must say right off the bat their quality and their comfort was the two things I was most surprised. Like I did not expect them to be as comfortable or as high quality as they are. Uh, just quick disclosure here, I do work in the firearms industry. Crossbreed did send me all three of these holsters to review free of charge. Neither one of those things will affect this review in any way, shape, or form because I always try to be as objective as possible. I am not a chest rig holster expert. This is my first chest rig holster just so you know i am uh, very knowledgeable about holsters in general but not so much about chest rigs so uh, if i make any mistakes just let me know down in the comments there will be an affiliate link down there as well if you want to pick anything up from crossbreed hook me up and use those affiliate links starting at the back of the holster the leather here is extremely thick very very nice has the crossbreed logo on it as well the stitching is like high quality super clean looks great and then on the back of that piece not only do you have a pad in there to make it a little bit more comfortable it also has a suede backing again so the, that's the side that uh, meets up against your body and just to make it a little bit more comfortable uh, it's held in place by these three screws with these very heavy duty leather straps leather buckles whatever you want to call them uh, moving on up you do have three straps here that are, have uh, have some give to them. So as you're wearing the chest rig and you're moving around, it flexes and moves with you. And that's part of the reason that it's so comfortable. Obviously, all three straps are adjustable to fit different body types and also different clothing. I noticed when I had a t-shirt on and I, I sized it to fit me and then I put a coat on because it was cold and raining, I had to grow, move, uh, uh, open those straps up a little to make it a little bit bigger. On the other end of the straps, um, you have the same leather buckle on two ends with the same screw, but then on this third end right here, you have this metal buckle that is super, super beefy, super high end. You know, I kind of expected a plastic buckle, but I really think this metal buckle is going to be very durable and uh, last for a very long time. So moving on over to the front of the holster, you have that very thick leather with the very nice stitching, the same suede back, and a very, very nice pad to make it as comfortable as possible. The Kydex on the front is also very high quality. Not only is it a very thick Kydex, but the edges on all three of these holsters are finished extremely nicely, no sharp points, no burrs or anything like that. So the, uh, the Kydex is finished very, very nice. If you don't like the tan and the green, there are a few different colors available for you. And probably my favorite feature is all the different ways uh, you can adjust the retention on this holster. A lot of holsters, uh, hybrid, and chest rigs don't have too much of retention adjustment. So you have the screws that you can adjust the retention, but also like the uh, Reckoning holster on here on the side, there's a little Allen wrench that you can adjust the retention in and out. So as the leather wears in, or if you want to uh, have more or less retention, there's an extra point where you can adjust the retention. Now the funny part is I really do not have a use for a chest rig. I don't live in a state that allows open carry. I don't spend a lot of time in bear country, but I've always wanted a chest rig. They've always appealed to me. So I went ahead and got one because this, this is America. Uh, advantages of a chest rig. There's quite a few that I came up with. Comfort is going to be uh, one big one. Compared to having something inside the waistband in your pants, having it on the chest I find is a lot more comfortable. Especially if you're out backpacking, hiking, and you have a lot of gear on. Uh, it can be very hard to access a hip uh, mounted holster with a backpack and this gets it out of the way. It's also a lot, li lot less likely to get snagged if you're working a farm or in the yard, whatever. 
Uh, a hip mounted one is very easy to walk into a doorway with or get snagged. It's going to be a lot less likely on a chest rig. It also allows you to carry a much larger or a much heavier firearm. I got it for my 1911 because I figured that was a fitting gun for a chest rig. But it gets supported over your shoulders compared to on a belt and you don't have to worry about sagging on the belt and, and all that stuff. So you can definitely carry a heavier firearm. I think those were all my advantages. As far as a disadvantage, I don't know if I really have a disadvantage. Obviously you have to carry open, open carry for the most part. You could put a coat over it, kind of defeats the purpose I guess. Um, just be careful where you are. I live in Rhode Island. Open carry doesn't go over so well here like if you were say in Texas or a free state like that. The other thing I want to question you with is be very, very careful when you're drawing and reholstering not to flag yourself. It's very, very easy when we go to draw out, we bring both, most people bring both the hands up at the same time. And if your support hand is here as you go drawing, you can very, very easily flag not only your left arm, but other people around you as well. So be super careful about flagging people and things. So speaking of not flagging yourself and other people, let's talk about the testing that I've done on this holster. I wore it around the house several days. Yes, just working from home, put it on, walked around the house. I carry everywhere I go. Uh, open carry, again, is not legal here in Rhode Island. So what I did, we had a couple of really cool summer evenings, like 650, 60 degrees, which is cool. And I put the chest rig on, I put a light coat over it, zipped it up. This way I could wear it out and about on a hike without freaking the liberals out and getting arrested because these gun laws are ridiculous. So I did wear it out on a couple hikes, just know it was under a light jacket. Uh, I obviously brought it to the range a few different times. The first time I brought it to the range, I went really, really slow, made sure the gun was unloaded, and just practiced the, um, the movements of drawing without flagging my support hand. And uh, some days, so one of the times I would just uh, get the gun out of the holster, then quickly bring my support hand up, bring the hands together and fire. Some other times I would bring my left hand up to my chest so it was out of the way. Again, meet the two hands together and then fire. And once I kind of got comfortable, loaded the gun, again, went nice and slow, figured out the draw presentation. Uh, and then once I got more comfortable from there, I started going a little bit faster. I even did shoot from the, from the jacket, from concealment. Again, I know it's silly. You guys can make fun of me in the comments for not living in a free state. But if I was gonna carry that way, I wanted to practice a few times, just unzipping the coat, getting it out of the way, getting to the firearm. I just wanted to get a couple reps in, regardless of how silly it was. Then, once I got really comfortable drawing from it, obviously I went a little bit faster. I was hitting some steel, I was shooting multiple targets, and doing all the things I would normally do at any particular range trip. So through all of that testing, my biggest pros are going to be the quality and the fit and finish of all of these holsters. Crossbreed spends time the, to make sure the quality and the fit and finish is very, very good. And then the materials they use are top notch. My second pro is going to be the comfort. They're very, very comfortable holsters. Like I was super surprised with the belly band. I was so surprised. Like I've never had a hybrid holster. I've always been a Kydex holster kind of guy. And I was so surprised with this. And uh, like I said, I carry it every single day. Same thing here. Uh, chest rigs in general are very, very comfortable. And with the thick padding on here, that definitely allows you to carry a very big, heavy firearm like this uh, and maintain as much comfort as possible. My third pro, I love that Crossbreed has a lifetime warranty. And they also have a two week guarantee where you can try the holster for a couple weeks and if you don't like it i believe they give money back or exchange i don't know check the website for details i just thought both of those things are pretty cool as far as cons i have no cons of the chest rig just a more of a uh, update on the reckoning i did lose one of the screws Probably my fault for not Loctiting them. I Loctite everything when I get it, and I didn't do it on this holster until one of the screws fell out. Then I went back and Loctited everything, and I gotta fix that and take care of that. So I would suggest you Loctite everything. Uh, and then the word of uh, just be very, very careful about flagging yourself or if somebody's next to you. Uh, if you're in the woods and a two-legged or a four-legged creature is coming at you and you're, oh my God, oh my God, trying to get your firearm out, you're not gonna be at your best. So you really need to get that motion, that technique down nailed before you put a hole in your arm or a kid next to you or the thigh in the thigh of a loved one. Any of those things would be absolutely horrible. So carry a tourniquet and uh, make sure you're very, very cautious with your trigger finger discipline and your muzzle awareness. Overall, 
anyway this is a very very high quality holster i think they're all very very high quality i would have no problem trusting my life to any of them hell i do trust my life to this one almost every single day these chest rigs are great for backpacking hiking working around your property camping anything like that bear country definitely ideal if you're in bear country um yeah that's all I got. Before you guys go, let me quickly thank Crossbreed Holster for sending me all three of them, all the all three of these holsters. It was very, very kind of them to do so. Again, there's affiliate link down in the video description. If you are gonna pick anything up from Crossbreed, please hook me up. Use those affiliate links. It really helps me out. I also want to thank the sponsor of today's video. No, there's no sponsor of today's video. Uh, I have Tiberius merch. If you want to support the channel, the link's down in the video description. If not, rock on. Continue being awesome. No big deal. Let me also thank my Patreon supporters, the four companies who support me with affiliate links. And most important, I want to thank you boys and girls for watching. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Peace.